I've always been obsessed with taking study notes ever since I discovered the art of note taking. In this video, I will be walking you guys through my note taking process. Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless Student. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. My note taking process begins with creating rough notes. I've already created these in Notability because I want to use the same application to create my final study notes. I had to export a PDF version of my rough notes to my PC. Rough notes help me understand what I am studying, what I am learning without the pressure to present information in a beautiful way. I can make mistakes, move things around, add information, write out questions, highlight things that I need to look up, anything that I want, anyway, I can just put it without having to worry about how my notes are looking. My rough notes are my first stage in my note taking process where I gather information and do my research. After that, I start writing my final study notes, which is what this video is about. And my final study notes are my second part of my study. I've already done a video on my third part of study, which is revision and self-testing, asking myself questions. If you've not seen that video, I will link that in the description down below. So in this video, I am writing final study notes for biology, the first topic, I am writing notes on microscopes and introduction to biology. Creating final study notes helps me in a couple of ways. Number one, it allows me a second look at a topic. Usually I allow some time between when I write my rough notes and when I create my final study notes for a topic. Usually it's a couple of days. I did these rough notes a couple of days ago and now I'm getting around to doing the final study notes for it. And this allows me to study my notes with the space repetition method of study. And the second reason I create rough notes is I do not like going back to textbooks or lecture notes. Am I the only one who dislikes textbooks? Textbooks never have all the information I need to learn. Neither do lecture notes. So for each topic I study, I need two, three, sometimes even four textbooks to get all the information I need. Doing this every single time I need to study a topic is just a lot of work. So I do it once and I never go back to textbooks. Another reason I don't like textbooks is because I find them superfluous. They have a lot of unnecessary information and the worst part for me with textbooks is presentation information in textbooks is all over the place in a textbook you'll find information on page one and they'll refer you to page 85 and send you back to page 50 like right in an effort to fix all of these problems that i just listed i create my own final study notes when taking study notes, it's very important for me to understand and see how different pieces of information are connected or related. I therefore rely heavily on mind maps, tables, diagrams, and I keep prose writing or paragraph writing to a minimum. For this section on measuring cells, for example, I realized in my notes that there are two methods to doing this. And so I created a small mind map with arrows indicating to show that there are two ways to do this. And I made sure that the methods are side by side for easier contrasting. Writing the notes that way will help me to easily spot any similarities and differences, which will help me to understand the information. I use different colors to differentiate pieces of information by highlighting important things I need to remember. If it was all just one color, I'll probably have a hard time remembering it. Not to mention how boring it would be to study. I have a photographic memory, so the more diagrammatic my notes appear, the more colors I have, the easier it is for me to remember them. Instead of having information spread across many pages, I prefer to have my notes compact on as few pages as possible. That way I get to see all the information on a particular section and I also get to see how all the information relates to other information on that particular section. In this example, I am writing notes on the different branches of biology. I have all the branches listed on the page with a short explanation for each branch. All that information is on one page which is great because if I'm confused about any field, the information is right there to compare and contrast on this one page. It's really important for me to connect dots. I remember things that are connected much easily if I have some piece of information. If it's something that is completely new and it's not really connected to anything, I find it very difficult to remember. 
One thing I absolutely love about digital notes is that I can move around sections of my notes to rearrange them however I like. Once I have written something, unlike on paper, I can still move it around, I can erase sections, adjust their colors, resize them. Honestly, I cannot see any better way to study than this. I hope you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what study methods, what method, what approach you use when you're creating your notes, what is important when you're creating your notes, what you find useful, what you find helpful i'd like to know all of that in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video